I've talked about my personal Heisman Top 10 a couple of times this offseason. Next week, I'll be dropping my final Heisman Top 10 for the 2024 campaign. But today, I wanted to include and show some love to players who aren't getting all that much buzz. Here are some Heisman sleepers that a lot of fans need to keep their eyes on for the 2024 college football season. Before we get to my sleepers, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are you love college football and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel, so make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. As a reminder, these are Heisman sleepers, so I'm not talking about guys that are ranked inside the top 10 to 15 of betting odds to win the Heisman Trophy. Now to start off my video, this one is going to be a little bit of a cheat, as I have Noah Fafita, who's also going to be inside my top 10 next week. But he currently has 20 to 1 odds, so you could still make the case that he's a sleeper. I'm really high on this Arizona team for 2024, and I think there's a strong chance they can win the Big 12 this year. This past season for the Wildcats, he really stepped on onto the scene and emerged as one of the best quarterbacks, at least one of the more underrated quarterbacks in all of college football. He completed more than 72% of his passes while throwing for 3,000 yards with 25 passing touchdowns and only 6 interceptions. With an entire offseason under his belt, I think he's going to be even better for 2024. If Arizona is able to win the Big 12 and if they're a legitimate playoff threat, he'll definitely be receiving Heisman votes. Another quarterback who has 20-1 to 1 odds is Kansas State quarterback Avery Johnson. We haven't really seen a whole lot of him as he's appeared in only 8 games in his collegiate career. He's attempted only 66 passes, but he's thrown for 500 yards with 5 passing touchdowns. He's also ran for 300 yards with 7 rushing scores as well. I don't follow Kansas State all that closely, but a lot of Kansas State fans are really, really high on this guy as being the next great quarterback for Kansas State. Again, we saw a very limited sample size with him last year, but when he was on the field, he looked really dynamic and there's a chance he turns into one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in all of college football. All right, now we're getting to the true sleepers as USC quarterback Miller Moss currently has 40 to 1 odds. He's going to be the starting quarterback for USC as they head to the Big Ten. Now, I've talked about this numerous times this offseason, but I'm not high on this USC team for 2024. Personally, I just don't think they're going to be all that good, and I'm not all that excited with Miller Moss. But he did look really good when we saw him last year as he completed 71% of his passes passes while throwing for 700 yards with 7 passing touchdowns. Now if he's able to be a really good quarterback for USC and they're able to do some damage in the Big Ten and potentially play in the Big Ten title game, who knows, maybe he's going to be there at the Heisman ceremony. It's crazy seeing the odds of non-quarterbacks, but that's just because the Heisman is truly a quarterback award nowadays. We'll start with who I think is the best wide receiver in all of college football in Missouri wide receiver Luther Burden, who enters the season with 65 to 1 odds. He emerged as one of the top wide receivers in all of college football last season for the Tigers. He caught 86 passes for 1,200 yards with 9 receiving touchdowns. If I were to guess, he's going to improve all of those numbers this year. Now, I definitely think Brady Cook is a solid quarterback who could be a Heisman sleeper as well, but if Missouri is winning games and they're posting numbers, it's probably going to be because Luther Burden is all of the offense. We'll stick to a non-quarterback as well in Oklahoma State running back Ollie Gordon, who also has 65 to 1 odds. He came out of nowhere last season and became the best running back in all of college football. Well, he returns for his junior season, and a lot of people think he's going to post even better numbers. Now, that's going to be pretty hard considering the 2023 season that he had. He ran for 1,700 yards with 21 rushing touchdowns. Not only that, he caught 39 passes for 300 yards with the receiving touchdown. He finished 7th in Heisman voting last year, so in order to win the Heisman next season, he's going to have to post even better numbers than he did last year. That probably means he'll have to rush for 2,000 yards with 20 rushing touchdowns and be a threat in the receiving game once again. He's also going to have to make sure that Oklahoma State wins a lot of games and they're competing for a Big 12 championship. But when looking at players that aren't quarterbacks, Luther Burden and Ollie Gordon, those are probably your two best bets. So at 65 to 1 odds, there's a chance for you to make a lot of money. I can't believe I'm saying this, it just goes to show how far we've come over the years. 
but I have Florida quarterback Graham Mertz as a Heisman sleeper. Now, he currently is 75 to 1 odds, so it's going to take a lot for him to walk away with the Heisman Trophy. Now, if you've been around my channel for quite some time, you've heard me say numerous things about Graham Mertz, mainly about how I don't think he's a good quarterback. Well, I will admit, he proved me wrong last season, and he looked pretty damn good for Florida. In 11 games, he completed 73% of his passes while throwing for just under 3,000 yards. He had 20 passing touchdowns with only 3 interceptions. He also added 4 rushing touchdowns as well. Now, Graham Mertz is definitely going to have to be a lot better and take another step forward, but the reason I think he is a sleeper and I like him at 75-1 to 1 odds is because Florida has the most difficult schedule in all of college football. Now, because of that, that's probably going to eliminate him by the time October rolls around. But if Florida is able to shock us all and make it to the SEC title game with that schedule, it probably means they're a really good team, and it probably means Graham Mertz is playing like one of the better quarterbacks in all of college football. Another quarterback at 75-1 to 1 odds is Louisville quarterback Tyler Shuck. Now, this one is difficult because with Tyler Shuck, we've only ever seen him play in seven games in a single season. This is a guy that's been playing college football since 2018, and this is going to be his third different program. But from what we've seen on the field when he is healthy, he does look like a really good quarterback. It's just the fact that injuries have cut his seasons so many different times. So if he's able to stay healthy over the course of a full season, live up to those expectations, and Louisville is in the hunt for the ACC, I definitely think Tyler Shuck could be competing for a Heisman at the end of the year. With 90-1 to 1 odds is Nebraska quarterback Dylan Rayola. Now, we haven't seen him at all as this is going to be his first season, and I should know better than to pick a player that plays for Nebraska. But hey, at some point, they're going to be due, things are going to click, and Nebraska is finally going to be a top 25 team once again. Well, this is probably their best opportunity with a highly touted quarterback that's going to be coming in. We've seen freshman quarterbacks come in over the years and really turn their team around, so there's a chance that Dylan Raiola could be the next quarterback that we add to that list. With 100-1 to 1 odds is former Georgia quarterback and current Kentucky quarterback Brock Vandegrift. He spent the last three seasons at Georgia where he attempted only 20 passes. We didn't see anything from him at all, but he was a highly touted quarterback recruit, and I definitely think him going to Kentucky could be a nice change of scenery. Kentucky has been one of the better teams in the SEC these last couple of years, so maybe by adding a quarterback like Vandegrift, he could be the kind of guy that has them competing for an SEC title. There's a chance that Vandegrift is a total bust and he throws for 2,000 yards this season, but because there is that unknown and we haven't truly seen it from him yet, there is that possibility that he could be a really good quarterback and throw for 3,500 yards with 35 passing touchdowns. We're going to wrap up today's video with the biggest sleeper on today's list in Michigan State quarterback Aiden Childs. He comes in with 150 to 1 odds. So if you're a Michigan State or an Aiden Childs believer, here's your chance to make a lot of money. He spent last season at Oregon State where he didn't appear all that much. He did look solid when he did play, but again, it was a very limited sample size. He transfers to Michigan State, a team that desperately needs a starting quarterback. And he was a highly touted quarterback for a reason, because when he was on the field for the Beavers, this guy looked like he was the real deal. Like I mentioned with a couple of names before, we haven't necessarily seen it yet, so it's tough to put a lot of stock into them and truly believe. It also doesn't help that Michigan State wasn't a great team last year, and I don't think they're going to be a great team this year. But if Aiden Childs is as good as I personally think he is, and Michigan State's able to win a lot of games, all I'm saying is, I don't think he should be 150-1 to 1 to win the Heisman Trophy. Well, those are some of the biggest Heisman sleepers I have for 2024. Who on today's list do you think has the best chance of winning the Heisman this season? Also, was there a player I didn't include who you think is a sleeper that we should all keep an eye on for 2024? Whoever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. The college football season is almost here, and I'm going to be posting videos every day during the season, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video and my channel with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in my next video.